Hi everyone. Hello. <laughs> it's Esther here, live for Elizabeth Craft Designs. Hello, hello. It's December 5th and I am trying to see if I can find you guys. Yes. <laughs> it looks like it's working quite quickly. Hi everyone. <laughs> Good to see you, Sylvia, Yolanda, Miranda, Corona, and a lot of other people already. Hi, everyone. Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Depends on the time. Um, I'm trying to zoom, it, zoom in a little bit more. I hope I'm not making you seasick. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're good like this. Hi Ans, hi Rick. <laughs> hi Clementine, hi Belinda, <laughs> hi everyone. Okay, I think we're good. Let me start first. Ah, oh, thanks Angelique. Yes, it's my granddaughter's, our oldest granddaughter, uh, her ninth birthday. So, and it's also uh, Sinterklaas in Holland. So for those of you who don't know what it is, um, Sinterklaas is something like uh, Santa Claus, <laughs> but then it's on December 5th. Uh, it's a long story to explain, but I will write it down and then you maybe can do some googling. Wait, I will make a little note. Let me see if I've got some paper over here. And then just use Google so you can see what it is. Now I need a pen. <laughs> And I will write down Sinterklaas. I'm not sure if there are a lot of Dutch people watching uh, today. Because uh, most of them are having Sinterklaas evening. Uh, tonight. Sinter. This is an R. <laughs> Sinterklaas. So if you're interested in. <laughs> um, please check it out. And you can see what it is. Okay, thank you all for the celebra uh, birthday wishes. Um, we celebrated her birthday yesterday. Um, and so tonight she is celebrating Sinterklaas with uh, the other grandparents. So <laughs> there are a lot of parties going on over there. Okay, as you can see in front of me is a new... Um, oh, I'm going on TV. Well, that's huge, Cindy. <laughs> uh, I've got a new sidekick planner here. And... Uh, the good news for those uh, living in the US, you are first. It's not available in Europe yet. So um, for the people in the US, you've got um, the premiere. Do you call it this way? Yeah. Uh, first this time, uh, because you can already purchase it, purchase it, buy it. If you want, your, shop, um, your shops are able to order it. So... And I think it's really cool, especially if you have the large planner like this. So it goes really well. And there's also a travel, uh, traveler's notebook in the same, um, same style. So, uh, a new sidekick. Uh, for Holland, for Europe, it's uh, expected uh, around the 15th of December. So please be patient if you're in Europe. It's not available yet. Then I'm putting Sinterklaas to the side. Um, I have to announce the winner of um, the $50 gift certificate from last week. Uh, yes, this is only the sidekick, Jona, because it's already there um, in, the, in the large planner. Uh, the winner of the $50 gift certificate is Aaron Gregory or Aaron Gregory. I don't know how to, how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry, Aaron. Uh, please send an email to info at ecraftdesigns.com to claim your uh, gift certificate. So congratulations uh, for you. Oh, Michelle, you've already ordered. Yes, so everything mixed media, it's already um, available for ordering uh, at that shop. So good to see you. Uh, thank you very much for the congratulations. The large blue one will... Will that come back? Oh, is it sold out? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not... Um, um, uh, I don't know any everything about the stock and things like that. So, 
please forgive me. Um, so, the blue planner sidekick, but we have more exciting sidekick news. I'm putting this exciting new products, a few. And you've all, re all been waiting quite long for the uh, pocket pages for the sidekick. These are available now in Europe and in the US and Canada and wherever you are. And two um, sets with um, the dice. And the dice come or go with the photo pocket pages. So uh, I'm going to show them to you which sizes there are and what these dice are. Um, I'm going to show that to you first and then uh, later on uh, I will be doing some work in my December day by day because um, that's what we've already started of course uh, from December 1st so okay what's the best way to show this to you okay this is the packaging it has four different sizes of um, <coughs> sorry <coughs> um, pocket pages uh, I mean, the size is always the same, of course, but the, um, the divi division, divi dividing, well, uh, the photo pockets are different. That's what I'm trying to say to you. So I'm going to show to you. And I have got some more over here. Where are they? Ah, uh, here you go. This is a little bit better for you to see, I hope. Putting these aside. And I will open up my new sidekick. The inside is beautiful blue, same uh, as the as the pockets on this page on on this planner. So I think it's really cool. So for the pocket pages, uh, the plastic uh, pocket pages. Here you can see um, the. Um, Oh my gosh, how do, the solid pieces which you can use uh, for making a mat. So, for example, this is the first one. This is from this die set. There are two different ones. Uh, there, there are also samples on the back of the packaging, of course. Uh, I don't have the samples here uh, at the moment because um, Els has got them. <laughs> As usual, everything goes to Els. Um, but this is one of the die sets which goes here and then there's a smaller one which you can use for layering and that one comes um, also uh, in the same package and as you, I'm not sure if you're able to see it um, this one has those really cute dashed lines inside uh, just as we have on um, the dies for the full size uh, pocket pages so Exactly the same uh, dashed lines are around here. Uh, all the elements have the dashed lines exactly the same as the full size planners. So um, this is what they look like when you only use the mat. So the larger ones. So these are um, exactly go into these pocket pages. And you know why it took a little bit longer for you to get those because um, the manufacturer makes the plastic pocket pages for us first then we need samples and then i uh, i'm only able to make the dies when i have the pocket pages so i want them to fit exactly into those pocket pages so for example if i have the manufacturer make the pocket pages and i do the dies at the same time then it might be possible they don't fit or they don't fit fit perfectly so um that's why it took a little bit longer. So here you go. These are the mats. And I want to show you a little bit more of what it looks like when you start layering. And that's what I did here. So on the next page, it's the same pocket page. But now I use the layers. So these are those two layers on top of each other. And I use some extra elements. And I am going to show you which one those are too. Um, this one says XOXO, like kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> and that's that one over here. And here you have the, the word moments. So you can glue those down. There's a little um, a film strip die over here too. And for example, you can use this one um, to put the words on. But of course, you can stamp anything else on it. Or maybe put a little picture on here. So that's completely up to you. These are just uh, for me 
uh, to show you as a sample. So these are the, um, the pocket pages with the three um, dividers, three division uh, pockets. So then I am moving over to this set. I will be coming back to this set uh, a little bit later. And this one has the largest one over here. And then one for the mat also on here and the squares over here. So when you start layering those, uh, it also has uh, a fishtail. I think that's how you call it or a banner. So here you can see what it looks like when you are layering them. I want to hugs and kisses. Kiss, kiss. Yeah, that's the same. <laughs> for me, it's the same. Yes, of course, they will be available in Canada. Just uh, check your local uh, or your favorite uh, retailer, Susan. Uh, here you can see it a little bit better if I'm keeping it a little bit closer to the camera uh, instead of in those uh, pocket pages because they are always a little bit shiny um, uh, when it's on, on online and also because of, we have to use the lights now because it's dark over here already. So these are um, one of the this is one of the, sorry, I want to tell you so much that I'm stumbling on my words, stumbling upon my words. Okay, slow it down, Esther. Here is another one, and this one comes here, and this one has a little, let me see if I can get it out, a little film strip die thingy like this, and that's the one over here. Not sure if you're able to see it, I think I'm... It's better when I take it out, so you can see it a little bit better. <clears throat> and I just put it the crayon here, uh, just for fun, just to give you an idea what you can do with it. It's really a basic set um, to fill the pocket pages. Oh, Inge, you already got them? <laughs> you are quick. <laughs> yeah. The Annette Green banner with the fishtails. <laughs> I think uh, she, she took one of the, the fishtails um, dies from one of the other sets. Is that correct? Else, what are you doing here? <laughs> Else, go, go. <laughs> yes, of course, Else. You, you can use those uh, for the other sets too and for other pages. But uh, <laughs> I think they all will understand. Okay, moving over to the next one. This is a full size uh, pocket. Um, let me take it out. Oh, I'm going to show you too. This is the, hold on. <laughs> um, this is the full size, the mat only. And here is, is it when I'm, uh, when I've put some layers on top of each other. So here you can see the two largest, well, let me see, I'm taking them from those. That's easier for me to show to you. These are the two largest ones. They come here in the set. So when you start layering them, also take them out of the pocket for you to see it a little bit more clearly and takes away the shininess from the pocket pages. So as you can see here, I layered the two largest ones on top of each other. And this is a stamp I took from um, the note pieces set. Here's a little tab, tabby thing, which also comes to the new set. That's this one. You can fold it and then use it any way you like. And I oh yes, she took the, the fishtail from the suitcase set. That was it. Yes, yes, yes. Now I remember. I didn't know where it came from but it was the the suitcase set okay so this is the larger one for this side oh, let me put it back in again and then i am moving over to the last one and that's where you use this one for and this one again so it's the same as the one over here but now i ask them to make a fold out so this is a really cool page and you can put in some extra pictures or some extra um, yeah, space for embellishing or journaling or whatever you want to use it for. <clears throat> oh, let me check your comments. Yes, she did. The full page one. Yes, it's a cool one. <clears throat> 
yeah the little tops and clips they're always good to have um clips <laughs> and tops taps sorry yes the fold out i love this so uh, i also uh, layered one so that's the next one i'm going to show you and hey here you can see it a little bit more decorated uh, than the one here but it's just to give you an idea of uh, of the possibilities so um here you can see one of the other tabs that's one oh that's the one over here the layering i did with all the the basic pieces so here you have got two of uh, the larger and the smaller one here's the one which has been used over here and then this lovely heart what do you think of that one that's this little adorable heart so um you can use it uh, yeah, as a paper clip or as a decorative element um yeah i think it's funny and now i see some questions two by two squares yes i think they should be two by two let me check for you i'm trying to find a ruler with inches yeah this one is a little bit worn out but i'm not sure if this is two. yeah this is the two by two it's the same as in the large um in the full size planner pockets two by two inch so these are these house club stones and uh, let me check imke what do you mean have we ook van die uit club stones and oh no no they are no uh, they are sorry imke no they are not <laughs> It's only the, the, the fold-out pages for the sidekick at the moment. Uh, I tried it, uh, Imke, but when you make fold-out pages for the larger um, planner, the full-size planner, then uh, they don't go through most of the die-cutting machines. So uh, not everybody has an A4 or a big die-cutting machine. So that's um, something I'm still working on and maybe making uh, separate elements which you can add to your existing pages but if we make a fold out in one piece uh, it probably won't go through your die cutting machine so that's why they are not there yet <laughs> okay now I miss a lot of um, <laughs> comments I'm sorry if I'm not replying to all of you because I can't keep up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay, I see another fold out for the big planner question. Uh, well, I just uh, <laughs> replied to you. It's too big. Okay. Um, yeah, a temple. The plastic holders. Yes, it's a variety pack. It's here. You've got all the four different um, pocket pages. Three each, a total with got 12 in a pack four styles three pair style so that's the complete packaging okay uh well this is it for uh, the new sidekick products now and again um the dies and the pocket pages are available everywhere for now uh, at the moment yes everywhere but only uh, the sidekick cover so this one is not available in Europe yet. It is available for the US and Canada uh, customers already. Um, yeah, and I'm confused because I am trying <laughs> to read your comments also. So sorry for that. Um, yes, this is a new color for Kalina, the sidekick. It's the same color jeans, the blue one. And there's also uh, a TN, a traveler's notebook. In the same color but th this is uh, existing already quite some time too so and i just heard somebody mentioning that this one has been sold out but i don't know anything about that uh, so just check your um check your retailer if you want those okay so um yeah this was for the sidekick collection and i hope i did not forget anything let me check what's here on the sides <laughs> because I am a little bit messy in my head sometimes. Um, no, I think I've covered it all for the new products. And then, oh yes, that's what something I also wanted to show you to you. It's a little bit older already, well, maybe two months. Um, a canvas sidekick. I have no idea about that, Angelique, at the moment. I don't know, I don't know. 
Oh, a fold on page for the A5. Yes, the pockets. That's something we can do. The TN, is it's an older one already. Maybe it's sold out. I don't know, Patricia. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this one, I made it uh, in October uh, when we had the retreat over here in Holland. And then Elle saw it and she immediately took it with her and took it to the US. Uh, and now uh, I met Els last week in Canada and I got it back. So I just wanted to share it with you because it's so gorgeous, pretty, I think. And I don't know for sure if Els has shown it to you. So um, what I did with this one, and forgive me if Els already showed it to you, I don't know. Because I can't keep up with all the um, the lives and things are um, are online every week. So I made this one with those um, dies from the file folder sets. It's file folder set one and two, and I just die cutted a lot of them, a lot, <laughs> and the bigger ones and the smaller ones, and I all combined them together. <coughs> And oh my, I have to check the comments. Hold on, hold on. Canvas planner, fold out pocket for the big one. Yes, <laughs> uh, the black one, new products. The dies are smaller to fit the page. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Debbie, or else. I'm a little bit confused now, girls. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I hope somebody is trying to help you and um, give you the correct answers. Trying to track it. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, yes, it was on the retreat. That's where I showed it to you, but it was really briefly. Yeah, okay, the book. I will continue with this. So just die cut a lot of those file folders, larger ones, uh, smaller ones. And then um, I took one of the YouTube tutorials on bookbinding, stitching, stitching. This is a Coptic, Copic or Coptic, Copic binding. And I am not an ex expert in bookbinding. So if you are uh, really good in bookbinding, you will probably see this is not perfect but for me it is okay uh, i will go uh, through it briefly um so you can see so what i also did is uh put in a lot of pockets this is uh, for example the wave pocket from the planner essential die series and then in just put in a lot of tags so if you use pockets and this is one of the larger pockets and i just trimmed off um, the corners or did I cut this one myself I can't remember it's been two months hey right? <laughs> um, so text again and these all come from uh, the reminiscence books and here you can see a smaller file folder in between the larger ones so I'm just going through it quite quickly more pockets because pockets are always good you can never have enough pockets this is one of tim holt's uh, insect buggy things more pockets the wave pockets from the planner essentials with tags uh, another pocket <laughs> just in case you didn't notice and now i do have another question if you have fold up this pocket then the die is the fit else what do you mean if you have a fold out plastic pocket page then the dies that fit in those pockets are not a for else what do you mean just text me <laughs> oh no you're talking about the book i'm i'm lost okay here's another small file folder in between the larger ones uh, adding those extra elements like reinforcers or tabs uh, and if you keep using the same paper the same decorative elements it will all come together so you can see that I am repeating the same things, smaller pockets, uh, pockets and um, um, <laughs> file folders in between the larger ones. Here I've got some really cool briar paper. If it's still, uh, I hope you can see it. Yes, I think you can. 
Uh, and oh, now we're talking about this book. Uh, Annette is working on something with uh, these dies too. So I can't wait what she's going to do with it. I'm very curious to see what it's going to be. So more and all my leftover pieces again. Uh, vintage stuff. Everything is in there. Pockets again. All elements from the reminiscence books. And so on and so on. So, um, oh, here I made a pocket on the side. Oh, I think something is glued down over here. <laughs> Hold on, this is no good. Ah, here we go. You see, a pocket on the side. So it's really fun to make something like this and just decorate it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'm just keeping it the way it is because I think it's pretty enough already like this. So... Oh, briar paper, just cut it, uh, Femke. Just cut it, die cut it, age it. You see, this this one already was uh, aged, if I remember well. So uh, it had those beautiful brown patina color. So, oh, Jona, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with the book yet. I just like it the way it is. Maybe I'm going to add some more uh, botanical elements or just maybe some little collage thingies. Uh, and yes, Ellen, it lays flat and that's because of the way of the binding. So if you're using a Copic stitch, and I, I, I'm sure, sorry, I don't know if it's Coptic stitch or Copic. I think Coptic. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit difficult, uh, the, the Sandra. The, the binding, but there are so many tutorials out there on YouTube. So if you are following those um, step by step, you will you will be able to do so. That's no problem. See more pockets. <laughs> oh, this one also stuck. Oh no, it's here <laughs> with another tag. So this is what I wanted to show you. Um, also, and now I am moving over. So it's a busy night tonight, or a busy afternoon for you uh, on the other side of the ocean, because I want to show you a lot. So, and of course, now we are talking December day by day. Who of you is joining uh, the December day by day, um, well, how do you call it? Month? Yeah. <laughs> bookbinding Ilse. Yeah, there's another bookbinding Ilse also did bookbinding. And I think, where did I saw it? Um, I can't come up with the name. I'm sorry, it's something with yellow, yellow. No, I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay, we are moving over to December day by day. Uh, yeah, and I'm really curious. Yes, I used uh, the heavier cardstock uh, in this little book, Belinda. And for the... Um, Sometimes I use these, there are the thinner paper in between, but the larger ones are the heavier cardstock. I hope that makes sense. So, December day by day. Ta -na -na -na. <laughs> I had a bit of a slow start, you know. Uh, I prepared the whole journal, well, most of it. Um, but then the first days of December were quite busy over here, so I had to uh, make it up yesterday and the day before yesterday. Um, yeah, to be where I'm at now. And I don't see any comments yet. Ah, here you go. <laughs> you're back. Oh, you're all following. Yeah, Michelle, there are so many bookbinding uh, classes. Yeah. Ah, Clementine, both. Yeah, Annette and the prompts. Oh, that's cool. Yes, Annette's uh, class was, was amazing. She did so well. 10 pages, Femke. Wow, you did a great job already. <laughs> first with Annette's planner, yes. That's a good start to do your first December day by day because if you have uh, done the workshop with Annette, your whole journal is finished or uh, almost finished. You, you can only add uh, maybe a picture if you want to use pictures or add some extra decorative elements or if you want to use the prompts, which are in the Facebook group, um, you can use those and add those in those journals too. Uh, for me, I choose to do uh, the large planner because my previous uh, December day by day, <laughs> day by days, I also did in the large planner and I want them to be the same. I did do the class uh, with Annette too. 
uh, and I made that journal together with my granddaughter and she kept it so it's with her now um, and I hope she's going to do something with it of course I think she forgot but I will send her a message uh, tomorrow so she can start working with it and Linda also does the prompts oh that is really nice no it's sometimes you, you know uh, a December day by day you don't have to think that difficult uh, there is a prompt list of course it's in the in the planner and journaling group but you can also um, journal about simple things simple things in life you don't have to be um, having parties or going days out every day to make a December day by day it's just your regular normal life so just make pictures of your living room and put those in or the Christmas decorations or you've been doing some shopping make a picture or maybe your car broke down or whatever it doesn't matter uh, just document it and it's really fun uh, to see those things back later and it really it doesn't have to be uh, that fancy every day or special occasions because nobody is having special occasions every day at least <laughs> I can't imagine it would drive me crazy okay uh, my first page I used the pocket page because well I liked it um, and I used all some uh, elements from uh, the Christmas paper set um, the slider frame sets uh, I think this word joy is from a previous uh, reminiscence book um, and actually what I'm working on with now it's of course this what I've already been making and here is a little box of all separate decorative elements and leftovers pieces of paper and things like that so this is what I'm going to use or need to use um, I said to myself okay just keep it with this maybe I find something extra somewhere laying around but I just have to do it with this don't make it harder than it is so it, you don't need to spend hours and hours every day um, to make a page okay here was my uh, first page my dashboard if this is um, how you want to call it <coughs> uh, then uh, the back of the page I was thinking okay shall I start with day one over here no I decided to de day one over there so I made this a sort of index oh I will take it out because it's shiny I can see it it's shiny I made a card with uh, the upcoming uh, events for us in December in December sorry so I'm having a birthday I need to have my medical checkup at the hospital uh, it's our wedding anniversary I'm going to lunch uh, and shopping on Wednesday with some friends we are going away with Christmas for the weekend so some highlights I uh, wrote down on the computer I typed them on the computer printed them and then cut them out and just glue them on these cards on on this card sorry a gumball machine oh my what <laughs> I need to read the comments hold on a gumball machine who's talking about a gumball machine else <laughs> I made a working going out of cards of town oh else is it the same as his gun he made from the where did he make the gu a gun from from those smarties boxes or something <laughs> you should you should show us pictures <laughs> I, I I'm very curious yeah the smarties <laughs> you do, you didn't eat them all did you okay so here is my day one our youngest granddaughter and I showed that picture online a, a couple of days ago with one of the books I found at the thrift store and here I used the string lights and I, some of you might have seen those before uh, what I did with those I cut them out of black cardstock the complete string of lights and then I cut it one more time from this silver stuff um, Tim Holtz silver paper stuff <laughs> and I uh, used alcohol inks on top of it pink and green to match the pink and green uh, style I want for this year December so I think it's pretty cool I hope you're able to see it I will move it around a little bit 
so you can see it's a little bit shiny on those light bulbs so just cut it twice once from black cardstock and then the other one from that silver stuff <laughs> i don't know what it's called but okay day three well actually these uh, this was a sample i made for um the sidekick but i st i liked it very much with the circles and the holy uh do you say holy holy <laughs> holy <laughs> um did you make a selfie of yourself fainting? Oh my, the energy bail. Yeah, that's something. Who said, Anya, Anya, Anya. Oh, I have to check. Yeah, Anya, do it. Just put it in your journal. It will be so cool when you see that in a few years again. I think it's a great idea. I might do that too. Because we also had our December uh, energy bill. <laughs> I don't know. How is that in the US? Is it also that bad with energy bills and gas prices at the moment over here in holland it's crazy okay day two i didn't have any pictures so i just decorated day two day three i went shopping for very quickly with my um, daughter-in-law and our granddaughter um, because i already got her a present she wanted to have uh, a monopoly set game the monopoly game but i also wanted to spoil her a little bit extra so she went to the shop and got, got her some new clothes. So here she was showing off her new outfit. Um, pockets, here's the one of the big file folder cards I glued on top of my page. The library pocket also, uh, a tag inside, a little tag in here, and I wrote something down on what we did. So this was my day three. Uh, day four is here, we bought a new Christmas tree. So uh, I had to uh, take a picture of that one and that's on here. And what else did I add on this page? Let me see. Um, yeah, the paper from the, the, the Christmas set. There's also some new paper, which is coming soon uh, too. <laughs> uh, it, it has been released a little bit uh, in a small amount in Holland, but it will be available for the US too. Uh, this is one from the circle dies, uh, a little bit of the sliders over here. This is an old card from um, the bus over here, a uh, stripper card. <laughs> it's glued behind and this is a new slimline tree because we do have a larger tree, but it's in a corner where now is uh, uh, a quite luxurious, no, luxurious hop, a chair. And the dogs always lie in this chair. So Johan said, okay, if we remove the chair, then the dogs are not able to lay there for four weeks. So we, we needed to buy another tree, which could stand in the other corner of the room. Uh, so the dogs could have their seats, their seat. So, <laughs> okay. Now, day five, that's our granddaughter's birthday, and I am going to work on this one. What time is it? Oh, I'm talking too much. Okay, and I want to continue with this one now together with you. So I'm moving this to the side, and uh, well, just let's see how far I am able to uh, get with this one. I'm taking a little bit of a drink. One moment, please. Oh, uh, Jean or Jen, Jen, Jen Beam. Uh, you you will learn by watching all the tutorials, all the videos online, and you can join our Facebook group. It's um, Elizabeth Crafty Sands. It's ECD Planners and Journaling Group on Facebook, and there you can see a lot and lot of examples and beautiful work that other people are making too. And you can ask questions over there if you want. So. You can learn a lot from the group too. Uh, my preparations. Okay, this was already in my planner. The Christmas sweater I also did some time ago already. And that's in one of the pockets. And now I just have to fill this with other elements. And of course I have some pictures of her birthday. <laughs> um, one of the two of us together. And here she is with uh, well, the top of her uh, cake. Her birthday cake. And here's some 
uh, two smaller pictures which I thought might be really nice in those two by two pockets over here. So I think it's best if I start trimming down um, those pictures and I am trying to read your uh, comments girls. Oh, the pictures with the text on it. Yes, I am going to sh Oh yeah, I'm still planning on making a few tutorials about how I am using my uh, picture apps. But it's the text on uh, my pictures, which well, I'm going to show it to you one more. Very briefly, I did one here. As you can see, this one says shopping. And I think I had, oh here, oh, new tree. You go to the... What's, called, what's the app I'm always using? Picture, pick, pick, pick monkey. No, not, not pick monkey. Oh, my brain is <laughs> giving me a hard time again. Okay, but it's in the same app. You just put on the A, which says text, and then you can type in, and then you can choose all kinds of fonts, and it's really easy. You can just put them on, use the app. Otherwise, send me a message, Diana. Diana. <laughs> I will show you the link. Okay, okay, this one has to go in there. Trimming down those pictures. Let me start with this first. Shall I leave the white border around? Let me check, does that fit? No, I think I am trimming the borders off. So no whites on this one. <coughs> Thank you, Saskia. Yeah, Els also said she looks like me. Well. I don't see it. <laughs> I know her parents, so my son and his wife say she looks like me uh, the way she behaves. So she, they are calling their Esther 2.0. <laughs> so, uh, poor girl. <laughs> but um, no, I don't see it that she looks like me. Maybe it's because we both wear glasses at the moment, but Els also said the same as you are saying now but <laughs> uh, so let me see yeah <laughs> Esther 2.0 yeah yes yeah, sir <laughs> well thanks <laughs> okay Esther 2.0 was thinking about using oh no Esther 1 that's me I was also thinking and that's what I already put together using those um, slider frames here because I think these are really cute and then I found from book one I think these two which I haven't used so this is the thicker cardstock and here's the thinner one so I was thinking if I am putting it here so it's saying you are on my December not sure if I want to use December I can also use this one or this one and you are on my and then nice list how about that i thought that was pretty cool and uh, what would you guys do would you use the word december or isn't that correct english i'm not sure about that oh saskia you don't see it too <laughs> okay guys what should i do the word december here or should i use one without the word December. That's my doubt for this. Uh, nice list, I'm going to cut this in half. No, I'm not. I am going to use some glue first. Not December, okay, that's clear. <laughs> yeah, that's competing, it distracts a little bit too much. That was what I was thinking, okay. I agree with you, okay, December, I am putting that one to the side. So then it's going to be something like this. You are on my, and then nice list on the other side. I think that, oh, it should be that way. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. I need to trim a little bit of two sides here. Not too much. You are, oh, sorry. You are on my, yeah. I can trim a little bit more here, somewhere around. And I'm just eyeballing. <laughs> a little bit glue on the back. And I think I'm good. Oh. And as usual, the glue doesn't want to be glue tonight. <laughs> Today, sorry. 
And you are on my... I thought it was pretty funny to use it this way. Okay, I'm turning it upside down for a while, for a few seconds, because I used a little bit too much glue and otherwise it will stuck on the plastic. And then this should be, am I doing good job on my nice list? So I need a little bit here. And I think I am good when I trim this down somewhere there. I hope. <laughs> I hope I didn't make any mistakes. No, I'm good with this one too. Yeah, you're on my December nice list. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> but I think we can do it both ways. Well, it's a little bit off center now. And this one exactly fits. And I first only found one of those pieces. So it made me <laughs> browse through all my boxes this afternoon uh, to find the other one. But I got it. Okay, I am taking those out. So I will glue them down first. And you see it's still all loose in there. So this is for the other side of the page. And that will probably will tomorrow or something. So these are have to go on first. A little bit more glue. Oh, thank you. That's really cute. Thank you, Belinda. <laughs> okay, so I should have been able to use the word December. But I'm fine with this now. I used the word December uh, a couple of times already in the first few days of my journal. So... <laughs> I think everybody will know it's December. Let me see, this one goes here. Okay, now I can slide it back in. And I am going to put this one back in too. You are on my nice list. Well, this one can go and then I was thinking of doing her picture there and maybe the one with the two of us but I don't know if it fits I glued this one down a little bit too much let me see if I can make a little bit more room here or maybe I can trim something off hmm and I think this needs a little bit extra too, so I can maybe do a mat, but I don't have those dies by hand, on hand by now. And I always think it's funny, or funny, it's uh, pretty to only use her picture, not too much things around, because all the attention should go to her. But I think I need a little mat, and I want it to be green, because why because yes uh, i want my journal for december to be um green um with pink don't know why but i just made it up uh else i'm sorry guys picture i'm watching your comments so if i'm not speaking <laughs> please forgive me <laughs> overload of ideas Oh, play with Esther all day. Well, um, if, if you guys can come to the um, event in Canada next year, uh, then we can play all day. I heard uh, um, Els and Josette are working on it today to get out more details as soon as possible. How cool would that be? To meet some of you people from the US and Canada. Uh, in Canada. And did I already... No, I didn't see you. I didn't spoke to you uh, since we came back from Canada. Because I've been there with Marloes from one of the shops over here in Holland. And we spent two days in uh, uh, Benf, near Calgary. Well, near Calgary. Uh, I need some green. Um, in between, I'm maybe the dark green, light green. Oh! Let me see if this is funny. 
I like the pale green and pink. Maybe a piece of this. Or shall I use the darker one? No, I will go for the lighter green. Yeah, I'm going to do for this. Yeah, so Benf is gorgeous. I wasn't, I hadn't been there before. And uh, I've seen, I had seen a lot of pictures from Els already. And from your no, from your set, Els, they sometimes um, post pictures. But it was really gorgeous. And the city of Banff, or the village of Banff, well, it looked, <laughs> to us, it looked like a fairy tale, you know. With all those Christmas lightning out there. Uh, snow, it had been snowing. Oh, it's snowing now also, Els. How cool. Should I come back? I want to come back. So, next year we will be in Banff again for a retreat. Okay, let me see. I am, I am just trimming this down, eyeballing, never measuring. <laughs> and I think I'm a little bit... No, okay, I'm good. I can trim off a little bit off the other side. No, well, it's not that bad. Maybe a few, a little bit from this side. Very tiny, tiny, tiny bits. Okay, I'm good. Good, good, good. And then this one goes in here. And should I say, and let me see what have I got over here, girl, girl. Oh, this one goes in here too. Yeah, and this one is a fun one too, but it's too big. You won't see her, her cake anymore. Let me see, let me see. Now, I think I am gluing this down first. Don't think too long, just do it. <laughs> and it's a December day by day. It's not a, a scrapbooking page, which takes me hours to do. Well, it's a mini scrapbook. That's how I call it sometimes. But uh, if you want to keep up with this every day, uh, yeah, I don't want to spend too much time. It's just about the highlights of your day. And, um, and giving you a little bit time to be creative every day, only if it's just for half an hour or something. It's so much fun to to do something with your hands um, and get distracted from your life, every, your everyday life, you know, from your routine. Just play for half an hour and it makes me happy. Like this. Okay, then I want to do, and it's, in the end it will be something like this. I need to do the back side too. So I'm thinking of trimming a little bit of this side because it's only her sweater over there. And then I think I can do this here. I can do a mat also, but it's not, not really necessary because here is a mat. And if I do a green one over here too, you don't see much of the pink anymore. And by the way, this pink paper I did with a uh, watercolor, the watercolor paint. So just took a large piece of uh, watercolor paper and then just splashed uh, the watercolors around and some extra splatters um, <laughs> to, to make your own paper. Oh, thank you so much, Belinda. <laughs> Working on the retreat. The date is firm, 12th of October. Check out the 17. Oh. Can you make sure it snows then, else? Snow in October. Is that possible in Banff? Can you do that? <laughs> and Christmas trees. I'm not sure. I don't think there are Christmas trees and tr Christmas decorations in October. But okay, we will deal with that. <laughs> okay, you see, it doesn't have to take too much time. So this is the first page. Uh, you're on my nice list. It's her birthday. And it also here says happy birthday. And that's what I already prepared in advance. Because, of course, I knew it was her birthday on December 5th. Then I have some cards over here. And I stamped one of the first sets we did. Uh, on the new uh, pocket page cards but I also had these laying around and I also stamped one on the pink paper so 
I am not sure I can write something down. The good life, things to remember. Okay. I think I'm going to use this one, definitely. Uh, for the record, love these moments. I can write something down about her birthday. Then I need to do this one. It's the most wonderful time of the year. But pink might be fun. No, it's a little bit um, fading in the background. So I am taking my... I need to do some distressing first. Then it's better to see. <laughs> Just a little bit of ink. David singing Christmas songs. How fun. <laughs> that would be something. <laughs> oh, Joseph, are you thinking of joining us? That would be cool. Would love to meet you. Double trouble going to Canada. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think this is better than the pink one. But let me check what happens when I am inking those edges too. Oh, maybe we can set up the Christmas tree. I'm sure Josette has a Christmas tree. So we will put up her tree in October. Who cares? You think we can do that? <laughs> Oh, you see, it's better already with the uh, edges distressed. So I might think I am hmm. still not sure yet. But OK, this is all about the details, which I can do later. I'm just sliding this one in or not documented because the black stands out a little bit more uh, from the background paper. OK. I'm leaving these in for now. What time is it? It's almost nine over here. So that's somewhere around noon where you guys are. And I think I am going to put this one in here. It says, well, it's a Christmas ornament, as you can see in the background. I did it a couple of weeks ago uh, during one of the lives. And this has the girl sentiment from one of the other um, sets. Oh, this is quite funny over here. And I think, oh no, I forgot to put, oh, I, I, <laughs> I'm such a mess. I forgot to print a picture because uh, I will do that later. I will put those pictures here and here, um, a picture of her uh, Monopoly game. And I think I'm going to put one of those little pictures over there. Um, no, I think I'm going to take the one on the right. Okay, so I have to take this out again. <laughs> but now I know what to put there. And this is the back side of this one. So that's white and I like it to be green. So uh, I'm going to glue those two together. Just a little bit glue. And because the, all those elements are going to be in those pocket pages, you don't need to use as much glue because it's in those pockets and actually uh, nothing serious will happen to it. So a little bit of glue inside the pocket is fine. And just a simple picture in here. And I think this is quite nice already so i forgot to print an extra picture so and i also wanted to use her name tess can i do that yes i can do do you have some more time to watch me and uh, let me see let me see can i do this here no it's too large let me see because i love using those i'm going to put this here that's what I prepared. Her name, of course. Her name is Tess, for those of you who don't, didn't know. <laughs> and I want to have her name on the side of one of those um, tap, tappy things. Um, but now, let me see, does it fit? Yes, I think it will fit um, the pocket page. So, 
and I already did add some uh, double-sided adhesive in the back on the back sorry and then I am just gluing them down on the solid pieces which also come from the set and for those of you who don't know which set this is I've got it here somewhere let me see yeah. Here it is. It's a full alphabet and numbers, and you can make those really cute uh, tabs on the side of your pages, of the cards, or other things which you are using uh, for crafting. <clears throat> so I am. It's only four letters or names, so <laughs> it doesn't take me too long to uh, to make this with you. So the letter E. I need to remove the insides. Oh, and that leaves me uh, with the separate letters of her name also, so I can use that somewhere else maybe. Okay, T, E, and a double S. That's all I need for now. Let me see. And with this one, if you do forget to put double-sided adhesive, you can glue it, but the double-sided adhesive makes it a little bit easier for you um, to work with. But sometimes I also forget, so <laughs> it also can be done with a little bit of glue. And here is my last letter S. And I also did die cut the number 9 because she turned 9 today. You've got grandkids with long names, <laughs> Debbie. Ah, they're all... Actually, we have Sarah, Vince. Oh, it's all four and five letters over here. Okay, Tess. Let me see. Am I going to... I can also put it in the back. You can do it like this, or you can put it on top. Maybe I will go for the back for this one. But I want to have some ink. I always need some ink on the edges. So let me quickly do that too. Only four to go. <laughs> so the last one. And this is a cool heart. For, oh, I, I need that one too. I might just as well give it a little bit of ink while it's laying around here. So this heart is from the new Sidekick set with the pocket page fillers. But some, there must be some place where I can use it. Not sure when, but... Oh, it might be fun here too. Okay, I'm putting it here for now, so... I won't lose it, but this is not a really good place to keep it because it was uh, stick out of the, the top of your page but okay otherwise I will lose it so now another world problem shall I put it in the back or shall I put it on the top I think I will go for the back side for this one so I'm just putting some glue here to make it a little bit quick <laughs> and here are a little score lines on those tabs so you can see where you can glue them to keep them uh, well at the same distance so like this and I don't think number nine will fit underneath so I think I'm only good with using only her name it needs to dry for a few seconds and now I smudged with some ink on the card and this is a really bit messy on the back side, but when it's dry, it's good. And it's not really pretty to look at it on the back side, but um, you can decorate it with a little bit of washi tape or something else nice. I am keeping her letters here, so I can use those later. And I am going to put it in my journal so you can see um, what it looks like when it's in your journal. It always looks different than when it's on your table. What is the best thing on the gray sheet of paper? The this! It's a, it's a clipboard, how do you call it? I'm not sure if you are using, it's a tray. 
<laughs> Not sure if that's what you mean. Uh, my journal. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Debbie, yes, save all your pennies. <laughs> it would be lovely to meet you there. Okay, this one goes back in here. And then page four of day four. And this will be day five. And this is also going to be for day five. It's going to be a little bit tight in here. So <laughs> maybe I change my mind tomorrow and we'll take off her name. But may or maybe I should, um, how do you call it? Verstevigen, enhance, no. Uh, make it a little bit more sturdy on the back side. Maybe I need to glue down an extra a piece of paper over here so it won't come off that easily when sliding it in and outside the pockets. So it's going to be something like this. I always love to use some stamps for here to put on the tabs. I can add those later too. And sorry guys, I forgot to print an extra picture for this uh, pocket. So, um, well, that was it for today. I showed you uh, the book with the file folders. I showed you uh, the new planner, the new sidekick journal with the pocket pages and the pocket page filler dice. Uh, and uh, working in my December day by day. So, um, it was quite a busy hour, <laughs> I must say, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, new release. Oh, okay. The best thing was something we could add. No, it's pro now Sue. It's it's attached to the clipboard. <laughs> Just showing it to you one more time. But I like the size of the tray, so that's why I sometimes use it uh, to put all the little pieces on. Otherwise, uh, I will lose them. Okay. Uh, Oh, thank you very much, Michelle. I, I need to email you, by the way, Michelle, soon. I will email you soon, or you can email me. <laughs> okay, well, that was it for today. I hope you uh, have a lovely day or uh, rest of the evening. Depends on wherever you are. And uh, hopefully I will see you. Let me see. Uh, are we are heading to Christmas, eh? right? I will be back one more time for Christmas, before Christmas, on Monday, in two weeks. Next week, I will be here on Tuesday, but then on my YouTube channel. Okay, thanks for watching and, um, well, see you soon. Bye-bye.